Yo, what's going on, people? Yo, it's your boy Matt Jehu. Big Sam. Here Big Sam. Sam. Welcome to the Matt Jehu Show. Yes, yes. You know, we talk about you know the latest stuff that's going on in rap mm-hmm. and what's going on in music and stuff like that. So, um, the first one, first one we're going to talk about today is um, Lethal Bizzle, man. Lethal Bizzle built like a 200 flat property in Ghana, man. Oh, right, is it? Yeah, man. Yeah, I got, I, I that guy has been big. He's been doing stuff like that for a long time, bro. Yeah. I remember there was a time where his mum had a, had a thing, in, allegedly. Yeah, no, listen. I, I ain't got no connections, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, yeah, I remember, like, I think you told me that. Like, he's, he's, he's yeah, mom, I think his mum... Yeah, from what you I know, had like a restaurant or something like that. No, no, that's someone else. I think. Oh, that's someone else. I was, it, was it? Was it like a? I thought it was Lethal, you know. No, but I remember you telling me that Lethal Lethal's mum had a had a shop or something, had a sign going on it. Like, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. Built for her I think or whatever. I'm not. I don't, yeah. I'm not sure about that one because I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, I need to know 100. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're not getting a power. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 you know about that classic yeah, which yeah. grand tune that changed the game. Get to know how big. But yeah, that's big, man. But, that's, yeah. that's what you've done. That's but big, salute man. to Lethal Bizzle and um, salute to um, all the accomplishments. Yeah. You've got to see that artists that we grew up on yeah. do something positive, go yeah, back home mm-hmm. and show a prime example that, you know what I'm saying, like you can change your life mm-hmm. and you can change other people's lives as well yeah. and you can motivate other people as well. So yeah, when I saw that, I was like, because you know what, like, I think it was three years ago, three years ago you said that he was doing a little something in Ghana. Okay. Like, not that he spoke to me directly, but <laughs> I don't really know him personally. But um, I, I, I was, you know, I was keeping my ear to the streets and kind of like just watching what was online. And um, yeah, he was going back and forth to Ghana and I think they were saying they were building something out there. But I didn't know exactly. That's a hundred, you know, that's a lot, man. And you know what's so dope about the, the building? Um, is that not only is it, is it it's flat here? When you go downstairs, I think it's, it's going to be like some sort of like a gym or something, like a gym, right, 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 and right other right. stuff, right, right. You right. know what I mean? I like to kind of um like Google more information so I can mm. get a better understanding. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But obviously, the little that I know so far, so two hundred um um what's it called? Two hundred flat property. Yeah, so I have to write that down. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think that's dope, man. And he was even saying in the interview, he feels like Ghana might be like, like you know, the Dubai of Africa. Yeah, honestly, man, Ghana, Ghana is popping right now. Mm. Like Ghana, like you know, because uh, uh, my mum or our mum watches a lot of. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've always seen my stuff. And it's like, well, wow, that's in Ghana, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's right now, like if you go there. Everything is there, man. There's no, there's no, there's nothing that you're gonna go and not, not see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if it's like whatever, it, whatever it is, like a, like a fast food chain, whatever it is, whatever, um, man. You know, a bar, um, club, like yeah. just whatever it is. There's resorts now. You know, there's, there's stuff. tourist stuff that you can do. There's a lot of things, man. Saying? Cape Coast so, Castle, you know. All that, to... all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, Ghana's proper, man. You know, Ghana's the place to be for real. Because you know, if you're somebody that you know, either went to Ghana when you were younger or maybe, you know, knows you know, um, how it used to be back in the day, you know, you really appreciate the glow up now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've never been, obviously, you know, you, you might not really understand how it used to be or really make, think it's a big deal that there's a KFC or there's a McDonald's or whatever, but yeah. trust me, man, back in the day, there was none of that, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, trust me, man. Yeah, no. and in such a, like, short space of time, they've just made everything just, just go, you know what I'm saying? I know. So, yeah, man. Go, so, man. Coming soon. Coming yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll come and go and see. Come and see. <laughs> but big up to Lee for busy on the accomplishments, obviously, like on mm-hmm. you know the the, the, the project, the yeah. building of the flats. I think that's dope. And like I said, man, salute, man. All, all we can do is salute our legends and mm-hmm. um, 
just like seeing more stuff like that yeah, happening. Yeah. Yeah. Especially it coming from the UK as well. Because I feel like growing up, we always kind of looked up to a lot of the Americans. Mm -hmm. And we still do, don't get me wrong, but it's also good to see some of our own do it as well. It yeah, kind of, of makes it makes it a bit more um close to home. Yeah, but yeah, a bit more personal, definitely. Yeah man, so salute to Lethal on that man. And um yeah man, I think last week Mike Righteous um I think he um had a talk for his new album that he dropped last year. And um he was, he, it was, he did one show in the show in Manchester and um, he did a show in North London. It was Edward, man. Yeah, um, yeah, a couple of the people's army members were there. Logic was actually on, on, show, on the show with him as well. Okay, okay. So I thought it was kind of dope, man, seeing the two legends, you know, on stage together again. And, you know, for people that know, know, and obviously the foundation of people's army. Yeah. Mike Righteous, Logic, Amy True. Uh, the list goes on, man. So many other people, man. Um, yeah, man, it's dope to see, like, real rap still winning, you know, yeah. and even in this day and age, like, you know, um, I think especially in this day and age, I think, mm. you know, obviously there was a period, maybe like a 10 year period where, it, you know, it was, it was, it was almost like seen as like, is you know, old school or, or seen as like, um, mm -hmm. no longer relevant and it, it's, it's almost like, <clears throat> it was almost like just not giving the, the platform that it deserved, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but I think we're in an era now where every every, every genre, every type of music, anything that you do is appreciated, you know what I'm saying? It's, I, I, like, I, it's, it's an open field, you know? So. I, I, like, I like the way it is now. Yeah, I, think, yeah. I think, you know, it's like how I look at the music now. It's like how I look at food. Yeah. Like, you know, we all have different types of food that we like to yeah. enjoy eating. And sometimes we want to try food that we, have, we haven't tried before. And especially, you know, some people are so set on, you know, particular foods and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. but doesn't mean that they don't like other, other food. It just means that they, you know, they still appreciate other food, it just that's not really for them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this yeah. is more their, their vibe. You know? Yeah, so. definitely. So yeah, it was good to see that man. Obviously I couldn't make it to the show, man, you know, I had to go get this paper, man. <laughs> it's at work, you know, yeah, man. Yeah. Was, man, no days off. Yeah, yeah. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, big up to logic, we got some on Mike Righteous and um yeah man, L Skin, Crip Cribber, all those people that went down to the show, I think that was dark man to see. Um, two legends still kill it on stage and the, you know the, the people that were actually at the show there was a lot of people at the show man so mm -hmm. it's good to see that you know you can still sell out shows and do great things especially in 2022 man so yeah, yeah you know what I mean like, especially with what, what, what happened, what's happened in the past two years yeah, with COVID yeah. and all of that it's kind of good to see that um, music like that is still appreciated, man. So yeah, yeah man. That's good, man. Yeah, man. There's bare stuff. There's bare stuff happening. Um, I actually had a question for you. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this something that's on tour. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you, my friends on that stuff around. But, <laughs> but basically, yeah. Yeah. Um, this person basically said, um, <laughs> this person basically said, imagine if someone put a gun to your head and said. Name five Nick Cannon songs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I feel that'll be end. That'll be the end of me. You know? <laughs> I'll be dead. I'll be dead. R.I.P. God forbid. Touch that's wood. Said, that's said that's kill me, dead. <laughs> I don't know any. No, I don't know any Nick Cannon songs. Not not even one. There was one song he had back in the day that oh, I liked. I said kill me, dead. And even this one song I can think of right now, but I can't say it because the brothers cancelled, did it? <laughs> Not Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon's not cancelled, oh, but the man. guy that was that that was featured on the song. That's cancelled now, isn't it? Do it. Do it. Like, I ain't got time for this. Yeah. Gotta think about songs. Yeah, I can only think of that song called Gigolo, that's it. And I can't even really promote uh, that. Tune, on the there's, one, there's one tune that he featured on. It's yeah. an R&B tune, but I can't remember what it's called now. But it was actually good though, that tune. That's what I'm saying. There's a song he did with my man, but that brother. It's cancelled now, isn't it? Oh. Oh, that's yeah. The song's called Jigger though. 
Oh no, no, but I'm talking about recently though. Oh, recent, recent. Yeah, recent, recent. Like literally, maybe a year ago or something like that. I didn't even know or something. Yeah, man, I swear, I swear he did, man. Because there was one tune. Did like, he? I didn't even know he put something out. But I don't know if it, I don't think it was his song. I think he was featured on it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but it was it was actually pretty decent. I was surprised when I saw that his name was on it, man. Oh, okay, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, that's mad. <laughs> Yeah, they might as well just these are do the job with it because I'm not gonna know any new kind of stuff. <laughs> no disrespect to the brother. That's what man said. Do your worst, man. Do your thing. Got <laughs> 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 time to be thinking about any kind of stuff. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. I uh, mean, you can tell me how many times he's been on Wild Out. Like, yeah, something like that. Then we can talk, can <laughs> it? <laughs> But yo, big up, big up to Nick Cannon, man, <laughs> and all the accomplishments and that, man. Yeah, um, man, man's always been winning, man. He's yeah, still come on, come on. Obviously, I don't know if you heard um, Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah, I heard about Def Jam and that. No, no Def Jam, sorry. Um, Death no, Row. Death Row, like, he's also like a... Def Jam. Def Jam, I think he's like a... A&R, isn't it? A&R manager yeah, or yeah. CEO. Because I heard it on Breakfast Club, but like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's dope. I think it's dope for hip-hop because yeah, I think big, I think it's dope that um, Snoop is yeah. obviously um, the CEO of Def Jam. Yeah. And um, he's bringing back what's missing in the rap game. Yeah, because he was talking about the um, uh, Death Row one and he was saying... I saw a clip that he was saying, yo, if, if I started this five years ago, I would have had... YG, Lil Baby, um, uh, Ruddy Rich. He was saying some mad names, and I was like, yo, that record. I believe he would, man. I believe he would. Yeah, he would. I don't think people understand yet how big Death Row Records was back in the day. Oh, yeah, no, I think think people do, man. I think people do. Just the fact that obviously since then, Mm. you know, it's just a name that you don't really. Just a name, yeah. yeah. There's nothing really behind it, right? Yeah, because even before I go to what I was going to say, so he he dropped like a. Collaboration album where he had different artists on there. He had Davies on there. He had Fabulous. He had Sn- um, Method Man, Red Man. Um, and but he had Benny the Butcher, Jada Kiss. I won't lie Buster. though. I won't yes. lie. Snoop is that guy though. He's that. He's that person that literally is cool with everyone. You can tell. Yeah, that's what he called Uncle Snoop. Yeah, he? he's got a link. Like everybody's his nephews. Like yeah. <laughs> He, he, he literally, you can tell he's got links to everybody. Like yeah, you can tell. He, he can call Fifty, he can call Eminem. Yeah, call, you know what I mean. He can call everybody. Yeah, you're right. You're so right. I think, I think he did that. He did a. Um, he, he came on um, Lil Wayne's podcast. Yeah. I ain't seen that one. Oh, yeah. bro, that's, that one was funny, man. Like, this, no, it was good, funny. It was good. And they were talking, obviously, they were talking about, you know, weed and stuff. But it's just the way, like, he was, like, they were just vibing, man. Like, I've never yeah. seen, the, you don't really see them. I, never, I don't think they've, I don't, I'm sure they've probably been on a you know, couple of songs together, but, like, it made me realize how much Wayne is appreciated, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, he should be appreciated. And, and, and the fact that, you know, the same as when Fifty Cent called him as well, like, yeah, you know, yeah. like both the, you know, so it's actually mad. So yeah, I saw the fifty. One. 50, 50 or fifty one was funny. Man. Yeah, fifty. So, so, so fifty was on there, then M was on there, then Snoop was on there as well, and yeah. all of it, man, they were just, they were just, you can tell they, they're close. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's, not, it's not just like a, no, no, like no. a media thing. Like they no, actually, they're proper time. You know, yeah. yeah. So that yeah, was good to see, man. Yeah, the most funny thing that made me laugh was. When Snoop was asked about the Yeezy boots, did he ever laugh at you? I think it was about him mm. saying he would never get that Yeezy boots. If, it, if you if you if you ha- if you have like boots or like trainers or something, not boots, but you know what I mean about boots, yeah. Mm. That two men have to that, that two men have to help you put it on. <laughs> He ain't oh, on it. Like they look like the spaceship. Kind yeah, of. like he ain't on it. He ain't on it. <laughs> I, think, I think I saw. Yeah. I saw something about him, like the adverts that he's done. And stuff. Yeah. Oh, and is it? Oh. It make me laugh. Man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's done everything. Like, like literally everything. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he, was, he was in. He was in like a like a. I don't know if it was Japanese or Chinese advert. Where he's like, but like the same kind of vibe. You know? Yeah. It's like you know. And then there was one. It was an Indian advert. Um, or South Asian, so if you know, if, if it was um, Pakistan or you know, yeah, yeah, um, Bangladesh or Sri Lanka, for example, but yeah, yeah it was an advert for, for one of those countries, and yeah, he was all dressed up in the, in the robes and everything. Yeah, yeah, like, this guy, uh, Snoop, Snoop, this guy is real, man. Snoop <laughs> to me is like our, our 
rock star in hip hop. Yeah, I feel yeah. like he's a rock star, yeah, like, yeah. like the way he he just doesn't care. And the way he's evolved as well. He's done so many. There's so many versions of Snip. You know what I'm saying? So there's, many. There's Snip Lion. Yeah. There's, there's old, old school Snip. Then you have the then you have the gangster they side. Gang, I'm saying the gangster side. The the, 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 the lay back side. The, the lady side. The lady side. The ladies side. I'm gonna say Ferrari and all that. Yeah. The, the pimp the, side. The pimp side. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So you're yeah, like, like, I mean, that like, guy's yeah. got layers, man. He's got yeah, layers. Yeah, man. Nah, trust me, Snoop, man. Obviously, with him owning Death Row Records, I think that's dope, man. Yeah, yeah. That's actually dope. Because you just talking about how, you know, he, he, all he wants to do now is pick up the young ones that are trying to come up in, in LA, LA, especially, and, you know, basically just bring them through, you know what I mean? Because, like, if, if you're... You know, if he if he sees you or whatever, he can be like, yo, yo, come through. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I've got a direct link here. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not because you're saying how like he knew a lot of these young guys before they even blew. You know, what I mean, really rich and all these people like he had connections with them before they even blew. You know what I'm saying? So if, if if he would have if he would have had the label at that time, they would have. You know what I'm saying? As a given, he yeah, they'd have been on there. It was crazy. He had death. He had doggy style records for a while, but um. Yeah. Maybe. I'm, not, I'm not sure if when he had it, if it was because you know, like, say for example, if you get signed to a label, yeah, and you bring your label to that label, yeah, I think they they end up having some ownership over that label. So right. If you want to get your label, let's say if you say if they drop you or say if you finish your contract mm-hmm. and you want to take that label with you now, I think it's there is some sort of agreement. I don't know, yeah. but just from the observance that I've, I've I've seen it. I've actually remember hearing about certain labels from certain artists, and they know they no longer even mention that label anymore. Right, right, right. Like for example, um, Nas had Ill Will Records. And for those who know about Ill Will, obviously, and for those who don't know, Ill Will was Nas is one of Nas's closest friends that passed away before. He dropped, you know, Ill Mac is one of the um, dope classic albums to come out of hip hop. So I've looked at that and I'm like, rah, like, Nas don't even have Ill Mac, like, Ill Will records with him. Oh, he doesn't mention it no more. Also, you're basically saying he flat asleep, doesn't have Doggy Star and records anymore. I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying it's a fact, but I'm just saying a lot of times when I hear certain rappers. I, th- I think it's also, I think it's more to do with the platform as well, though, man. Like, cause, what do you mean? Because as in, like, the infrastructure like mm. maybe it's the fact that <clears throat> he had to let that go maybe because in comparison to a death jam or a, a death row it doesn't have that that like um that that muscle behind it you know what i'm saying like even though yeah, that's a good, that's a good word, yeah. yeah even though death row has been out for some time people just need to hear the name they're like yo yeah man yeah like, what you the this, history the history alone the history the history's like because because what i love from people understand yeah Okay, like NWA is probably the reason why there's Death Row anyway. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. when you think about Easy E, Dre, Cube, yeah, Ren, yeah. you know, Yellow, the list goes on. And obviously, when Dre and um, Snoop and Suge Knight, yeah. you know, did the whole Death Row thing, it definitely changed the game. And then when you think about it, it's kind of deep what I'm going to say, but when you think about it, yeah. Like, even without Death Row, they would have not been no Eminem, they would have been no 50. Because you have, you all remember that. Dre, it was down to Dre, and Yeah, that was Dre. When Dre left Death Row and started Aftermath Records, yeah? Yeah. Obviously, he had, um, he had Nas on there. Nas had a crew called The Firm. And yeah. He had, um, Foxy Brown, AZ. Um, Cole Mega was original member of The Firm, but obviously, you know, things didn't quite work out. But then later on, there was other artists. There's so many artists that was on that album. Even Noriega, that like Nori. Nori was on that album. The first time the world heard Nori. I think not the first time, but yeah. the first time of people actually who was on a, actually on, a, on an official album around that time was the Firm album. And I think that's, that might have been his first kind of way of entering the game. Obviously, he, had, he was on the LA LA song, which was more like of this to you know at the time when Snoop and Dog Pound dropped to um, New York, New York City of Dreams. Oh yeah. But even in New York ain't what it seems. So it's like, you know, at the time everyone knows about the East Coast and West Coast. Man. So even like yeah man, I just think I just think Death Row Records 
is so legendary, man. Because there would have been, and when you think about it, a lot of artists would have not have been here today. You know yeah, I mean? Snoop being one of them. Yeah, Snoop birthed like a lot. Of, like you know what I'm saying, that that label alone. Even if certain man left the label and went and did their own thing, yeah, a lot of artists' careers. I mean, you just don't know, in it. You just never know. Like it would not have been where it is. So that salute, definitely salute to Snoop Dogg on that, on the Death Row um, Records thing, man. I hope to see some great stuff happen from that man and fresh talent as well like that to see some exactly and a lot yeah. of the youngers come through and see what LA saying in 2022 and 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 you know someone like Snip being Mr. LA himself like he he's gonna have the direct link to these people no you know? doubt like, man because he seems like that I wish I don't you know nobody actually knows behind the camera and stuff but I'm assuming that he's a very welcoming kind of because when he talks about these things they can tell that yo He's an uncle, he's an actual uncle kind of vibe that you can yeah, do yeah. to and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, if you're genuinely talented, he'll give you an opportunity. You know? Yeah, you can tell, yeah. You can tell. He'll give you a chance kind of thing, so yeah. Yeah, man. You know, because someone like YG, you can tell that guy is struggling, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, you know what I mean? You can tell he just came out, he came out on his own. Because I remember seeing the video, actually, that he did in like 2009 um, or eight. That's how long he's been he's been doing this thing, yeah. Yeah. And, and basically, he looks first of all, he looks like a completely different player. He looks like Soldier Boy before Soldier Boy, yeah. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah. And like, wow. you, you don't even know he's the same person, but you can tell, and the name on the video is him as well. But it was just a completely different vibe to what he what, what he became, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't very West Coast at all. Really? The, oh, the song was not West Coast. I can't remember how it went, but. It was more like that time of like, you know, when it was Soulja Boy was popping. Oh, okay. That sort of, you know what I mean? And but I was hearing something about Soulja even, but, but even that song, he got views. Like, he had he had like, I think it was like 12 million or something like that. Wow. But so like, he didn't... He, that up, man. Yeah, <laughs> but, but it wasn't like... It wasn't West Coast. Nah, man. it wasn't... And it wasn't even that, like, cold, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't but I feel like, things are meant to work out the, the way they're meant yeah, to work course, out. Because maybe we didn't have that version of YG. Yeah, I don't think he even had tattoos or anything. I think it was just... Wow. Yeah, so then I think it was 2013, he dropped the bumps in um, the current kind of name of the actual album name, but he dropped that album and then uh, it just went mad. Is like, it, is it it's like a big track, it's like he became, it's like it's almost like he was, he was, he came out as a whole different person after that. Oh, right. Because I, when I saw the previous song, I was like, yo, is that YG? I was like, yeah. That's what G, the same YG. You remember and that song they did? He did with the late Nipsey Hussle, yeah. fuck Donald Trump. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. It's surprising, man. That, that didn't surprise me, like, especially Nipsey. Nipsey just don't care, man. Yeah. That guy's just nah. Rest in peace, of Nipsey, man. But yeah, man. So yeah, like twenty for to, to this day. Yeah. The album is one of the best albums I've ever heard. The the Bumpton album that you know, that came out. I don't think I heard. I don't think I heard it. You, know. you haven't heard it. No. Oh man, like, what? bro, that is, it's the fact that like it's so original. I've never heard anything like it. Mm. Even up to this point, I've never heard anything like it. It's so like you can tell he really, really took his time and patterned it and you can tell you, you almost get a sense of where he's from like bumping you, you can tell yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you really get the west coast oh like, you probably get it yeah you know what I'm saying like and did DJ like, Master produce that one I think he did yeah, I think yeah. He, that's when he wasn't even out I like that he wasn't known like that my master wasn't known right? yeah exactly yeah, yeah. I mean but bro the bass the bass guitar oh, man nah you're making me want to listen nah to that it. album to, me, to, to this day if you know about the album guys like if you know you know about that album to this day like it's, it's it's, it's, it's one of the best like I'll probably wow. put it in my top 20 maybe nah you know what Actually, maybe, I know yeah. see I know my brother too well yeah when he says something's dope Bro, then it is dope me. then it is dope yeah. you know what I mean because he so especially from because I might find something dope but I know my brother might not really vibe to it, you know what I'm saying? But mm. the fact that I'm telling you, you, you need to check, to check it out, you should know that, yo. No, but I know, I know what you mean, yeah, though. Because yeah, yeah. even with you, yeah, yeah, it's not everything 
that's going to excite you like yeah, that. Yeah. It takes a lot to excite you. So when when it does excite you and you, you yeah, are feeling, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are feeling something, then I know where I'm going. I know you know big things, isn't it? Yeah, big things yeah. are going, isn't it? So it's like, yeah, mama, check that album out, man. Yeah, definitely. Because even if you don't, let's say, even if you don't appreciate, and the thing is, like, I don't know, I don't think, I don't see how you won't appreciate the bars, yeah. Yeah. But even if you didn't somehow appreciate it, the, just the production alone, man. Like, yeah. I mean, with YG, I don't think. When it comes to like that, so I don't think he's that's that's what he's trying to show the world that he's on the top lyricist. No, no, I, he's just he's just real, like yeah, like, I think yeah, what, that's what I he's think. Just, like for me, mm -hmm. what I what I got from the album was that he's just trying to tell his lifestyle, his story, his his his, his neighborhood, his friends, yeah, see where he's from. Like you really, really understand where he's from without even needing to go on Google or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you really understand. Where from? Um, yeah, that song with um, Nicki Minaj back in the day. Yeah, my yeah, nigga, yeah, my yeah. Nigga. But but the thing is though, what what actually is the same is that mm -hmm. I feel like um, the YG after that album doesn't portray the same YG in the album. If that makes sense, like so after, after he released the album, mm -hmm. not not that he's gone down or anything, but I feel like. He almost kept that album so special, yeah. Oh. And then he went off and did whatever he wanted to do after that. Yeah, I think he wants to make sure that the albums. The albums are classic, man. I'm telling you, bro. Like, it's a proper for me personally, it's a proper classic. Like, when I remember I was in college when it came out, when I heard it. So we're talking like, about what? 2013. 2013. Yeah. Oh, so you're talking? Oh. He's wearing the white, white, white vest and stuff. So what? Hold on. When did he do that song with Nicki Minaj? Then? I think it was the same year. Same album. It's not an album as well. My nigga, my. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to think of the song. <laughs> yeah, but you know what's so mad about that tune? A lot of people don't know. Yeah. Is it old thing? That song was originally a Snoop Dogg song. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because I had a, I had a feeling that it might be like um, sampled or something. I don't yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. Not, I don't know about the beat, but yeah, I know yeah. about the the hook. But the the Snoop Dogg one was <laughs> the Snoop Dogg version. Like nah, it's not rude, but it's just so gangster, man. Yeah, it's, 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 like it's, it's, this is when he was signed to No Limit, yeah. uh, masterpiece label. Yeah. Um, the song on there, nah, nah, you lot need to check it out, man. Um, the original version mm. to my nigga, um, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. And um, what else do we have here? Today we've got a lot of different stuff to talk about, man. And um... I said, really, how, how long are we done? 27, man. Man. <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm gonna go off topic a bit. What do you think about the whole, um, um, thing, Senegal winning? You know, oh there, yeah, 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 man. That was, that was big for Senegal because they've never won it before. Right, I didn't even know that. Yeah, never won it before. Um, oh, that was big, man. Yeah, man. Because um, yeah, to be honest, like I think I said in one of my videos on, on my on my channel, like um, Ghana was disgraceful. I'm not here to just talk about Ghana, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. There might be a Senegalese person watching. You never know. But how dare you talk about my country <laughs> like that? No, how no, dare no, you? no, 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 I'm saying as in like, <laughs> no, I'm, saying, I'm right. not taking the, the props from them, but oh my man, oh my god, yeah, man. I know, man. Like, we, we didn't even make it out of the group, and usually making it out of the group is so standard, yeah. It's like basically turning up to the tournament, you know what I mean, yeah. Like, but the fact that we went out to a team that have never been into the competition before and all that kind of stuff, yeah, but yeah, man, so disgraceful from God, then I in the week after Nigeria now as well, yeah, which was because Nigerians are off now, and then you know what I mean. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying to say, <laughs> you don't know now, you know, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> but, but yeah, man. So yeah, no big, big up to Senegal. Um, you got Senegal, like man. I said, first time they've won it, so yeah. you know, um, yeah, it's a big, big deal, man. So look to the Senegal people, man. Yeah, all the all the people, man, the Senegalese and that. You yeah, yeah, know, yeah, man. Um. And obviously, like, um, you heard um, Freddie Gibbs comparing Jeezy to Tupac. Oh, <laughs> and he, uh, people were just going at him online, not happy about it, not impressed. You know what I For mean? For me, it's more like, if, if you have said it, yeah, because any, any argument that, any argument that sounds mad, yeah, when you first say it, 
it sounds mad, but you have to elaborate. You know what I'm saying? You, you have, have to be you specific. Have, yeah. You have to be very precise in how you're you're trying to compare people because he might be saying, "Yo, the swag." Even then, he'll be wrong. But I, I'm just saying, mm. he might say the swag, or he might say the fact that the, you know they they you know they look a bit alike, like they're both bold and stuff like that. You know, I'll be like, okay, in that way, yeah, okay, I get yeah. what you're saying. But if it's lyrical, or if it's music related, then you're completely off the off the wall. Man. No, I agree, and I feel like. You see, you see it's someone like Tupac here. Yeah. There's so many different sides to him mm. and qualities and mm. some things that may not be qualities but yeah. might be um, an argumentative conversation yeah. on how people feel about Pac mm. and how he, you know, captured things in their life. Because you gotta remember that there's a, there's a Black Panther side of him and Black Panther means, you know, for people that fought for a lot of blacks back in the day, because people always get the two confused with the movie. You know? Yeah, but, but I feel like with, with, even though he wasn't precise, I do feel like he's trying to talk about the musical side of it. You know? I don't think he's talking about the person per se. I think he's talking about music because. Maybe like, musically, like, no disrespect yeah, to Jeezy. Yeah, completely wrong. I like Jeezy's music. Jeezy's his own person. I like Jeezy's Tupac music. But, but Tupac, I mean, the closest to Tupac. Like, the one that was is gone as well, isn't it? Nipsey, man. Oh, you're saying Nipsey? Yeah, He's not my biggie. No, I mean closest as such as music sense. So what, in terms of bars, are you talking about? I mean, a package. So what? Hold on, hold on. So that, what I mean by, you see, not just music, though. Not just music. So you see Nipsey. Oh, I see what you mean, as in like... The, what he stood the, for, right, okay, see, what he represented for me, for me, the closest yeah. to Tupac mm, since, since Tupac's been gone. I think if Nixie was still alive now, yeah. you can only imagine what he would have done. Yeah. He probably would have done things that Pac wanted to do. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, think about yeah, it. Yeah, no, definitely. I think in that, yeah, in that sense, definitely. Yeah. Like, he, like um, a, a rapper from the West that, yeah. that you know, has a political side. And yeah, and he was gangster with it as well. Yeah, he was yeah. gangster with, with, with how he approached things. Yeah, yeah. But then he cared about his community. Yeah. He, he, he really, really was like, you know, trying to, trying to educate the people as well. And I think that's what Tupac was on. So, Jeezy is a bit of a, I don't know, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a um, difficult one because we know that Jeezy, when he came in the game, he was known for, um, you know, talking about trapping in it. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, he's, not all his songs was about trapping. So, all my Jeezy fans don't come out here to me. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a fan of Jeezy as well, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's had songs like Dreamin'. Dreamin' is one of my favourite songs, man. Like, one of my favourites is um, Leave, Leave Me Alone of Neo. Oh, that tune's That's hard. A big That's tune. a big tune, That's man. A big tune. Yeah, I like, I like Leave Me Alone, but I felt like Dreamin', yeah, like, at the time when I heard it, like, we were going for a lot as a family, you know what I'm saying? And I, it's like... There's that side to Jeezy that I can understand why they would compare him to Pac. Because, yeah. like, I think Jeezy, yeah, when Jeezy wants to really capture your emotions, yeah, and sometimes make you drop a tear, he can. But it's not enough. No, no, no. It's not enough to completely say that Jeezy's, um, you know what I'm saying, like, um, compared to Pac. And I don't think you can compare anyone to anyone anyway. Yeah. But... The reason why I said Nipsey is because not only was it his, was it his music, but it's, I think it's the way he carried himself and 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 what and what he represented. Yeah, it was more more than just music. It was more than just music. Yeah. It was a movement and yeah. and the way he and what he stood for. Yeah, yeah. But that's what made made the arm um, Nipsey Nipsey. But yeah, on that note, man, this is the Matt J who show. Big Sam here again, of course, as usual. Yeah, man. But yeah, guys, also come and check, you know, you know, over, over to my channels or Big Sam helps. Make sure you do, you man. Know, come over. We've done a couple of videos over there as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean about dating and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, come and check that out as well. And obviously subscribe as well to my brother's channel. Make you know, sure, man. Make sure you do for more of this content. Yeah, man. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to Big Sam's channel as well. 
Um, on this on this channel, obviously, we, we cover what's going on in the rap world. But on, on that channel, we, we come with something a lot different, approach different topics of different things, stuff that may be going on on, on, on everyday basis. You yeah, know what I mean? Life, just life in general, man. So um, yeah, man, we appreciate all we appreciate all the supporters. So big up to all the supporters, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Matt J Who channel. And peace, man. Peace. We're out, man.